Hi, Virgil. Welcome to Only 5 Minutes. Hello. I'm happy to be here. Your research project seeks to utilize solar to create an artificial leaf. Where did the idea come from? Uh, well, in our case, we take the inspiration from natural photosynthesis. And in plants, we have um, two light absorbers, uh, which are, let's say, wired to different catalysts and can perform uh, oxygen evolution on one side from water. And on the other side, you can have um, sugar production from, from CO2 and water. So in our case, we want to use a similar system to have two light absorbers and um, um, good catalysts in order to perform different types of chemistry. So for example, we can have oxygen evolution on one side, but we can have hydrogen evolution on the other side or CO2 reduction to syngas or other carbon products. So rather than traditional electricity generation, this is a solar to X project, solar to synthetic fuels in this case. How does the concept work? So in our case, um, we are making uh, tandem devices, which consist of uh, bismuth vanadate and perovskite light absorbers. So on the front, we have a, a yellow bismuth vanadate light absorber, which will um, use uh, sunlight to produce the oxygen. And this uses blue light. And then the rest of the light, the red light, goes through to the perovskite light absorber, which can um, use the rest of the spectrum to, um, for example, reduce um, protons to hydrogen or, or CO2 to products like CO or uh, formate. The ultra thinness of the device is particularly interesting. What benefits does that provide? The, the benefit of our uh, latest work was that uh, we, we managed to, to deposit these, um, these light absorbers on thin substrates. And this obviously provides um, economic advantages because then you can reduce the cost of the whole device if, if the mass of the device is decreasing. Um, but we also saw that we also had uh, new types of functionality. So since the device is so light, the bubbles that you're producing under operation will actually make your um, leaf flow to the water surface. So then we can have what we call these artificial lotus leaf. Now, uh, the advantage of these is that obviously they don't compete with uh, land area for um, for land area with agriculture or housing. So you can just place them somewhere on rivers or along the shoreline or somewhere along the um, uh, somewhere on the sea. And by doing so, you could have, let's say, delocalized fuel production. Innovation is, of course, just the beginning. How far away do you see the commercialization of this project? Well, I mean, um, in our latest study, we showed that in principle, this technology is compatible with scalable fabrication techniques. So um, we can prepare these light absorbers on um, thin, flexible substrate, substrate uh, which means in principle, you could do this uh, through a roll-to-roll -roll deposition. Um, however, uh, at, the, at this point, obviously, we are limited by whatever instruments we have uh, in, the, in the laboratory. And uh, to really move towards industrial, industrial scale, you would need to have um, proper equipment, proper industrial equipment to, to, um, to do the high throughput fabrication of these uh, devices. Currently, these synthetic fuels are being made by high emitting petrochemical companies. Can this artificial leaf change the game? This is what we would uh, hope for. Or this is what we are aiming for. So um, in principle, we want to use to make a technology that um, can use simple building blocks of like water or CO2 um, to produce fuels. And in our case, CO2 can be, for example, sourced from the atmosphere. And um, once you have that, you can imagine having a, a circular carbon economy. So you take only CO2 from the atmosphere then you concentrate it, you use it with these artificial leaves to produce fuels. And then once you use the fuels, you can the CO2 just goes back into the atmosphere. So you're not releasing additional fossil CO2 out there. What kinds of more traditional solar applications could this technology have? For now, the, the floating application looks quite promising. Um, and uh, a reason, well, right now we also have uh, floating farms that uh, begin to be quite interesting for photovoltaics. And this, these leaves just bring the concept one step further. So instead of producing electricity on, on open waters, you can directly produce your fuel onto open waters. 
And um, obviously, then you also have other types of applications. So um, we can um, use these type of devices for uh, for fuel production, but um, there are also um, some of us that look into how you can use this to uh, to um, convert uh, or utilize, uh, let's say, waste or biomass or other streams of, of um, substrates that are not necessarily useful but can be converted into some some um, some high added value chemicals. Virgil, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you.